What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today I built the famous NASA, NASA plant, plant air, air purifying, purifying device. device. Let's check it out. To get this build started, I've got some coffee filters, a hot glue gun, I'm gonna be using activated carbon, which is extremely important, a nice powerful fan, a bucket pot thing that can collect water, and then of course, we're gonna need the actual plant that's supposed to filter everything. However, to set this up the way NASA does in their schematics, I'm gonna have to take the plant out of this pot and do some modifications. So we're just gonna flip it out and empty all the dirt. I like to use chopsticks or something else sharp and pointy and kind of run it along the sides of the pots. This helps kind of release the soil and the roots grip so it pops out easy. This pot is actually absolutely perfect for this project because the center hole is actually raised above the rest of the pot. That way we can keep the water from flowing down in there. I'll show you more about that later. But we do need to add some extra holes around this one just so water can drain and doesn't get down the center hole. Now we need some sort of container that we can put over the center hole to prevent water from going down into it while also having some edges to force the air to go underneath, up, and around into the center hole. So for that, I'm just gonna poke some holes along the edge of this, uh, I guess this is like a water catcher you'd put under a pot, but we're gonna repurpose it for the inside of this pot. I'm just gonna throw a coffee filter in the bottom of this just so dirt and stuff doesn't fly out or the activated carbon that we're gonna be putting in here. And you'll see what I mean in just a second, but just toss a filter in. Now, one of the most important parts of this build is the activated carbon. So you're gonna wanna dump this in that thing we just poked holes in. And then we're gonna kind of flip this upside down inside the pot. It's actually probably better if you flip the pot upside down and press this little activated carbon dish up against it before flipping it upside down. Once you've done that, you should have a lot of activated carbon inside that clear thing. And it should be kind of pretty full actually because gravity and just the thing holding it down should keep it all inside. This is what our air is gonna filter up through and then out the center hole. Now you can kind of see why we need like a U-shaped dish. Now that we have that in there, I'm kind of worried about it popping up, so I'm gonna add the plant on top to put the gravity and just weight over the top of the plastic just to keep everything in place. This was actually a major mistake for me because I forgot to glue the outlet parts on the outside, but you'll see about that in a few seconds. Here's what I mean. We actually have to pipe this airflow to the fan and it would have been a lot easier to kind of set the fan and everything up on this pot before I put the plant in it because now I can't work on this thing upside down and it's honestly the worst mistake I could have possibly made, but we'll see through it. I first made an attempt with just uh, kind of a plastic bottle tube to kind of pipe it out, but later on I realized this was a mistake, so don't do this, but I'm just kind of showing you that you have to hot glue something over that hole. Next, we need to kind of attach something to our fan this is just an additional piece of plastic that I'm gonna use for piping the air because we want this air to be separate from where the water can drain into so we can actually create suction in the pot. So just kind of seal a cup around the fan so you have uh, a seal created. You're gonna actually have to cut a slit down the side of the pot because this is where the fan's gonna have to sit and it's easiest if we just slit all the way down so the fan can drop all the way in and we don't have to worry about cutting holes because I did this in the wrong order. But it doesn't matter because this pot is just to catch excess water and support the main pot with the fan. Once I got that all cut out, I kind of dry fit the plant in there and I wanted to check kind of where this whole fan and everything will line up. As you can see, I've already made a lot of measurement mistakes, but again, I'm doing this in like two hours and not however long it took NASA to do it. And I'm not a structural engineer. So at this point, I just ripped that one tube off that I put on the bottom, and now I'm just gonna hot glue this entire bottom cup to the actual pot. I also made sure to fill in the water holes that would actually be contained inside this because again, we don't want water to get into this section. You can kind of see in this footage that I've just put hot glue all along the edges. I also modified some pieces of plastic to fill in other bigger gaps where it doesn't line up, and I just loaded it with hot glue just to make sure I made a perfect seal. You don't want air to come from anywhere else. Once it's all sealed up with hot glue and you know that there's no air coming in from any cracks and it's pulling it through the pot, you can now kind of see how this all works. It's gonna suck air past the leaves, down into the soil, through the activated carbon, and out the output where the fan is. And that's how they filtered the air with this thing. Mine definitely doesn't look as nice as the diagram on the NASA stuff. However, it's doing the exact same thing. Again, we're sucking air past the leaves so they can kind of 
filter the air there, then it goes down in the soil on the roots, then through the activated carbon and then out the exhaust fan. So you can kind of see how it's filtering the air now. The main reason I actually made this video is because there's so many articles out there, so many Facebook posts about how all these plants filter your air and save you and they're going to get rid of all the toxins. While this is true in a sealed container, I guess according to NASA, this whole setup could filter my air. In a house setting, it's just not gonna work. Households just exchange way too much air in a 24 hour period, which is what this experiment was based off of. So this filter can never keep up. And I can promise you, you don't want fans attached to all your house plants forcing air through the soil. So really, this entire thing is just a bunch of clickbait as far as we're concerned. Either way though, this was really interesting and kind of fun to build. And I think we should still keep exploring different ways where we can use plants to improve our environment and to make life better. Alright guys, that pretty much sums up this video. Kind of sucks to see that we can't really purify our air well at all with these plants. And it is pretty typical for quick clickbait to kind of quote something famous or a big organization in order to peddle their stuff. But either way, I still love plants and I'm going to continue to collect them. So I hope you guys aren't deterred by any of this. But anyways guys, as always, may your plants grow strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.